G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. A very short video this week, just a review on my 250 watt kick ass solar panels that I got about 12 months ago. Uh, to cut a long story short, they're good. But check out the review, there's a little recap of when I got them, and we will see you guys later. Cheers. G'day everybody, what you're looking at here is two hours till full, 98 or 93% battery. 16.8 volts. It has a built in regulator in this BMS 30. It's only getting 6.2 amps at the moment, but it's pretty, pretty full. It's boosting. So, as you can see, two hours still full. Now, these are kick asses 250 watt folding supposedly super lightweight solar panels so at 250 watts the reason I bought these is pretty simple I haven't got enough power to run that big fridge it's maybe in the foreground maybe not in my camper trailer for more than 48 hours We're using a 120 watt solar panel and there they are nicely wrapped up beautiful bit of plastic so well protected. Now, I've heard nothing of good things about this company, but I've had no real life experience with it. So I ordered these just from what I was told, and they arrived pretty quick, less than a week from the time I ordered them to the time I got them. So uh, you got to be happy with that. I've no idea what's in all of this, so we'll open up the bag, in that pocket there, looks like a shoulder strap, that looks like a bag for something, we don't know what that is, that sounds like the tent pegs, yep, pegs are for uh, pegging it down in windy environments, from what I've led to blue, nothing else in there, pretty decent quality material on this bag and I know from the advertising blurb that these zippers are YKK zips so they're supposed to be pretty good now that's just an over bag so we just take this out here lift or we'll try to lift so the panels are supposed to be light they feel pretty heavy Maybe I'm just being a sook. I don't know. Anyway, what makes them heavy? In the bag. There's all your, your legs for pegging them out. I'll work that out shortly. We'll just put this out of the way for now. I'll probably need that again in a moment. But all sorts of straps. That looks like the panel there. I'll get through this crap because I have a feeling I need a lot of space. So, cool Velcro gadget there, and there they are. Rather big, so big in fact that I may not have room to show you these in this environment. But. What I'll do is I'll do a bit of jiggery pokery and see if I can't stand them up like this. I tell you in the instructional video that when you're setting them up, this is basically what you do. Put them like that and that makes you place the legs. What I've also discovered is these are completely upside down because of the way I've chosen to unpack them. So, I'll just quickly do this. Probably not the right way, but that'll do it. And now they're up the right way. So they look very high quality. The back of them's very good material. They're pretty snazzy. They look pretty cool. Good material, nice SunTech solar panel. No, it's not Sontech, uh, 
Sam Pierre, I think they are. Correct me if I'm wrong later. And I probably am. But that's the guts of it. The rest of it's all going to be exactly the same right through the other four panels. Put all the leads in place, get the adjustment worked out, plug the lead in, and Bob Girardi's living boyfriend. So I won't go through all that and bore everybody witless with it. Because what's the point? Not much more to see about that at the moment. I might do a review of them later on down the track when I've actually given them some use. But that's pretty well the kick-ass solar panel as it comes. Anyway, for now, I can't see any reason to show you any more than that because we know how an Anderson plug plugs into the back of the panel. We're not that silly. Down the track, when I get them set up in the camper or near the camper, then um, I'll, you can see them all in action. That pretty well covers it. Cheers. Good everyone, Steve Mud Ducks for Drive Touring. Let you know how my kick ass solar panels have been going that I've had for a, oh, a bit over 12 months. I'm just going to get out of the sun so I'm not squinting. All right, uh, I'll tell you a bit about them. You don't have to look at me, I'll zoom around a bit. That's them. Now, these are dirty and in situ. I've uh, been camping all weekend at Lake Wallace down here at uh, near Lifka. That's them, they're pretty grotty. But um, they've been producing good power, 250 watts supposedly, I don't know. I, I've never seen 250 watts out of them, but I have seen 200, they have good voltage, and the beauty is they keep the camper's battery where it should be, which is all you can ask for a solar panel. Now this particular camp, I've got them running now through about 20 meters of lead. I did have them through only 10 meters earlier uh, for the last two days that we've been camped here. They've been pretty well where my shadow is there, just facing north. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, so the sun's well and truly on its way down, so we're not getting the best power at this point. But have they kept the camper running? Yes, they have. No problem at all. It, I'm pretty sure it said earlier, 98% that battery. So I reckon that pretty well covers anything you need to do it. So uh, very short review, guys. But um, am I happy with them? Yes, I am. I ran a smaller set of panels when we first got this camper, and they just didn't keep up. They were, they were hopeless. So, um, we bought the kick asses. They're not the cheapest panels in Australia, for sure, but they're very good. So I'm quite happy with them. Would I buy them again? Yep, I would. Good quality. Uh, yeah, they do the job. They do everything you say they're supposed to do, so I don't know what else you'd want. So far, everything I've bought that's got kick ass from uh, 12 volt direct in Queensland there has been good gear. So I really can't winch. Anyway, that pretty well covers it, guys. So uh, we'll catch up here a bit later. Now, I know that was short and sweet, but I hope you got some info out of it. I did buy these panels. They weren't given to me. Uh, I reckon they're pretty cool. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.